So in this example, we're going to look at a function which returns a value. Um, and by that I mean it sends back, um, in this case it's going to send us back an int. And uh, functions normally send their values back to main. And main sends its int, this, this line here, it sends that to the operating system. But other functions which return values usually send those back to main. Uh, well, in our case, they will, because uh, that those are the functions we're going to write. Now, uh, what I've got here is just um, a function calculate age, which is given the number 2000. And this is what this function does with it. So it's going to take that number 2000, and it already has a current year stored in it, and then it just prints out what the age is based on the current year and the int value that it's been sent. So running this is just going to print out the number 13 and that's that. Now um, in most functions we only really want them to do one thing and do that well. So this function here is um, doing some calculation and it's doing the output for us using this printf line and we don't really want that, we just want it to send the value back to us. So the way we're going to change this is I'm going to just comment out the printf line. We're still going to keep the uh, int line here and instead of uh, printing out the line I'm going to instead ask this to return the value to us. So I'm just going to use the word return and what I'd like it to return is what it was printing before. So I want it to do the calculation of current year, take away year born, and then send that back to us. So end that with a semicolon. So that's the first thing I do. But if I compile this, it's going to give me an error. Uh, so let's just make sure that happens. And the error is going to be along the lines of... Um, it reached uh, you need a return you've got a return value but you've got a void written here in your function now if you think back to how we write main main ha returns an int and so the last thing it has here is a return statement so if we've got a return statement here we cannot then have void we are returning back an int so this, func this function is going to calculate current year, which is 2013, take away year born, which is the int that it will be called with, and then that calculation, the result of that, is going to be returned back to the function that called it. And in this case, the function that calls it is going to be main. Now, uh, running this, so we can run this, so I can compile it, no compiler errors, and run this. But it's not going to output anything, so nothing is printed. And that's because the value gets returned, but we don't do anything with it in main. So we could do something like this. We could declare a variable called age, and we could say in that store, um, calculate age. And then just to make sure that it prints, uh, that the value, the correct value has been returned, we can just print a, um, a decimal number here and let's leave a line and what we'd like it to print is whatever's in age. So th there's a few things happening here. This is going to call calculate age with the year 2000. So it goes up here with 2000. This is going to then return the value of current year, take away year born and it's going to get stored in an int integer variable called age and this line is just printing age for us so let's just compile that uh, just control and so 13 gets printed out um, for our uh, f as, as our return value now the other way of calling this is if you just wanted to check that it was working is rather than having to calculate uh, um, age and store it in an integer and then print it out we can shorten this by just if I take out the top line I can just ask printf to print me 
the result of calling uh, calculate age with let's say let's let's send it to 1000 this time so i can just say okay printf do your printing let's just take this comma out do your printing uh, but wherever uh, i've got this placeholder i want you to uh, print out the value that you get back from having done a calculate age because calculate age is going to return an int so if we compile that and then run that then that should give us back 1030 and the bits here all we're doing is um, trying to get uh, look at the value that's been returned that's all so when a function returns something we say what data type it's going to return and then our last line needs to be a return statement returning a value which matches that data type.